Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your man, Chris Thorns. As always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We know you watch my content. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, free y'all sent me this story. I haven't had a chance to get to it, but I got a chance to get to it right now. And uh, let's talk about this for a minute. All right, let's get right into it. All right, guys. So, uh, if you would look over here where the spinning globe at, uh, let me see. I'm going to pull this up. Um, got a husband and wife right here. Uh, ooh, got 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 some mess that's going on with this one right here. Um, the man you see in the picture, his name is James S. Wings. All right, and the lady you see in the picture with him, her name is Shatiri. Weems, let me make sure if I got that right. Uh, yes, Shantiri Weems. All right. Here's what's going on with this story. Uh, the story is um, Sh Shantiri shot her husband, and I want to believe it's in the head and the leg, if I'm not mistaken. It's in the head and the leg, and what she did it for because uh, the daycare she was working at, you know, they uh, the children was claiming that he was much less than them. All right, so uh, she she popped him. You know, and the crazy thing about this is uh, Mr. Weems was a former Baltimore cop. OK, he's a former Baltimore cop. So now you got to think about that, too. A former Baltimore cop. Then he was a bus driver for the daycare kids. Now um, they saying that uh, some of the children has came out and uh, confirmed that this man was uh, doing some things with them or whatnot, you know, and. Uh, you know, you, know, you got to ask yourself now, now that you're hearing this story, uh, that he was doing this, do you blame Shatiri for what she has done? You know, but I leave that uh, for y'all to decide. But um, let's hear uh, what's going on with this. Uh, why is this thing acting up? Okay, this thing is really acting up for some reason. Uh... That guy, excuse me. I don't know why this thing ain't doing this all of a sudden. Well, can I just do this right here? <laughs> why is I having a hard time finding this thing now? I got to clear out some of this stuff. Okay, I finally, I finally found what I was looking for. I don't know, I don't know what was that all about. You know, uh, this thing, this using software, this shit just ugh, sometimes it can be a hassle. All right, guys, let's let's go ahead, and listen to this and see what's going on. Then I'm gonna get to another one in a minute. County daycare now closed and locked up tight, but police believe they are now unspooling the story of the child abuse that allegedly took place here before the shooting at the swanky Mandarin Oriental Hotel in D.C. James Weems, a former Baltimore cop who on his LinkedIn profile lists himself as an executive protection agent. He was working at the daycare as a bus driver. Now he faces 13 child abuse counts, including first and second degree sex offenses and displaying obscene material to a minor. At least mm. three victims. Uh, have come forward at this time. Our investigation has found at least two years he was there as a bus driver. Police arrested his wife, the daycare owner, Shantiri Weems, at the hotel last Thursday. She's accused of confronting him in room 853 and shooting him in the head and leg. When mm. police got there, she said, F him, he's a child molester. Kathy okay. Sher knows parents who sent their children to Kids Castle. Everyone knows she shouldn't have taken the law in her own hands, but you didn't have your life upended. Her whole entire business is gone. Her reputation is gone. Her marriage is gone. Those kids are hurt. She obviously cared about them. So who knows if it was one of us what you'd be driven to. And if you expect to find sympathy for a monster, no, nobody feels sorry for him. Police say that James Weems is still in the hospital, but when he's recovered enough, 
They expect to extradite him here to Baltimore County to face those child abuse charges. In Owings Mills, Maryland, Bruce Lachey and WUSA 9. That's cold. <clears throat> That's cold. But again, we talk about that a lot on this channel. You know, uh, you doing these to children, you know, I mean, Look, man, you, you get what you asked for. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I'm not saying that uh, it was right for... I'm, I'm not saying that either. That it was right for her to shoot him. I'm not saying that. But uh, again, I mean, hey, this is her business and she's looking at the children and these other people's children. They're putting their children up in her care and hearing stuff like this. You know, I'm pretty much sure they make a lot of people upset. It make a whole lot of people upset. And then, you know, again... Um, like that lady said, you just don't know what to drive people to do, and I get it, but again, don't get it twisted. I'm not saying she should have done this, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, but it comes to children, and you run that type of business, you know what I'm saying, with children, and these people putting the children in your care, man, that's an embarrassment. That That is embarrassment, and it's gonna have everybody who's bringing their children there, like, you know, so what do y'all really be doing over here, including her? It's gonna put something bad on her name, you know what I'm saying? So uh, again, uh, I'm with the lady. Take the law in your hand. I mean, hey, I don't condone it. I don't recommend it. But these are children that this man allegedly is supposed to have been fucking with that was in her care. All right. And that was also in his care where he was taking them home or whatnot. So that, that's, that, that's foul. <clears throat> Okay, so it says right here, uh, Baltimore County Police say that they obtained an arrest warrant charging James S. Williams with 13 sex crimes. 13 sex, sex crimes. Uh, a man has been charged with sexually abusing children at his wife's Maryland daycare days after his wife was charged with shooting him at, at the Washington, D.C. hotel, authorities said. Baltimore County Police said Tuesday that they obtained an arrest warrant charging James S. Williams, Jr., 57 years old, of Randallstown, Randalls, Randallstown, Maryland, if I said that right, with 13 sex crimes related to the abuse of at least three children at the daycare in Owings Mills News Outlets reported. Wings and his wife, Shantiri Wings, were at the hotel in Washington, excuse me, in Southwest on July 21st, when the shooting occurred. That city's metropolitan Metropolitan Police Department said she told investigators that they had argued over the abuse allegations. According to a court affidavit, detectives in Baltimore County began investigating James Weems earlier this month over allegations that he abused at least three children at the daycare. Police spokeswoman Joy uh, Lapola Stewart said the woman charges Weems with three counts of each sexual abuse of a minor and second and third and fourth degree sex offense. James Weems remained hospitalized with two gunshot wounds that aren't considered life threatening and is considered a fugitive from justice and is under guard, guard police in Washington, Washington said. Shatiri Weems told police that she had received multiple messages and phone calls from parents and teachers about sexual abuse allegations at the daycare center and went to meet her husband of five years at the hotel, according to the affidavit. She repeatedly asked him about the accusation and it escalated to an argument, she told police. Her lawyer, Tony Garcia, said his client started her business in early 2000 and the allegations against her husband were pretty earth-shattering. She contends that she shot her husband when the argument turned violent and he started, he started toward her, he said. She insists that she was defending herself, Garcia said. Shatiba Wins is charged with assault with intent to kill and handgun offenses that remains jailed in the nation's capital. She pleaded not guilty in D.C. Superior Court and is scheduled to appear at a preliminary hearing on Friday. In the hotel room, police found two handguns and a notebook including handwritten messages that Shatiba Wins intended to shoot her husband but not to kill him. And I want these kids to get justice, according to the affidavit. Garcia said one handgun belonged to his client, who is licensed to carry it in Maryland. And the other belonged to James Weems. It's not clear whether James Weems, who has not yet appeared in court, has an attorney. He was a Baltimore City police officer from 1996 to 2005, and then a contract specialist doing administrative work until 2008. City police said Garcia said James Weems assisted his wife at the daycare and also did private security. Okay? Wow, again, 
this this is wild, you know. Uh, that, that that's this is wild, man. You know, and again, like I said, once you think you've heard the worst, the worst is yet to come. Once you think you heard the worst, the worst is yet to come. Now, me personally, just by reading that little bit right there. I don't know if he came towards her or not. I can't say I wasn't there. I think she came over the tension shooting period because uh, for what she heard, you know, because she already feeling some type of way, and I and I can understand it, you know, she feeling some type of way. So then she saying that he charged at her, you know, I don't know, but he probably did. I'm not gonna, I'm just not gonna totally uh, neglect that. Say that he, that he didn't. He probably did, but on a more level, I believe she already came there to uh, handle her business because, uh, again, hearing something like that, you run the daycare, man, that's embarrassing. I, I get it. That That is embarrassing. Don't nobody want to hear that. Don't nobody want to hear nobody doing no stuff like that, especially if they leaving children in your care. So, you know, I mean, I get it. I get it, but um, just like this lady right here, I'm going to play this other news clip, you know, hey, you know, it's never a good idea to try to take the law in your own hands, you know, because uh, things can turn out uh worse than what it is, you know? So, uh, shit, you know, let, let's go. I can't imagine what it's like as a parent to turn your child over to a stranger. And you, See? You, you, See? you hope and you pray that they take care of them the best that they can. Shock outside the Little Kids Castle daycare in Owings Mills, where police say retired Baltimore City police officer James Weems Jr. abused at least three children. His wife, Shantari, owned the daycare, and he worked here as a bus driver for at least two years. We learned of these allegations earlier this month, and that's when our investigation was launched. According to court documents, Shantari Weems reported the abuse to police, but kept getting calls from parents. That's when she confronted her husband shortly after the two checked into mm, the upscale mm, Mandarin mm, Oriental mm. Hotel in Washington, D.C. last Thursday. Police say Weems told them the argument got heated, her husband moved toward her, and she shot him. At this point, he remains in police custody, hospitalized in Washington, D.C., pending extradition. It's kind of hard to feel sorry for him. I mean, I, everyone knows she shouldn't have taken the law into her own hands. But you didn't have your life upended. Her whole entire business is gone. Her reputation is gone. Mm. Her marriage is gone. Those kids are hurt. She obviously cared about them. Mm. So who knows if it was one of us, what you'd be driven to. Shantari Weems still faces charges in D.C. related to the shooting. Police say she wrote in a notebook that she did not want to kill her husband, just hurt him, get justice for the kids. Supporters are using the free Shantari hashtag online and packed the D.C. courtroom Monday where the initial hearing was postponed. She's made complaints to the proper authorities before. Her cries for help had went unanswered. Our government did not keep her or the children in the situation safe. Okay, I keep saying Shantari, 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 Shantari. Shatari wings, okay. <sighs> wow. And then you gotta listen to all they know. All this cost her to lose her business and everything, man. And uh so again, I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's right, but everybody handling their situations different. And uh I guess she felt this is how she gonna handle hers, you know. Of course. Again, her story says that the conversation got heated. He came towards her. I can't say yeah your nay, but I'll say this: even if he did do that, you know, I think she already had the motive. She going she was gonna get him anyway because what he been doing to them children. I believe she was gonna do it anyway. You know, I could be wrong, but I believe she was gonna pop him anyway because uh, again, my grandma ran one of the best daycares down here in Memphis, and she would have heard this, probably had the same reaction. You know, because that's embarrassing. You know. My kids are at your daycare and they are being hurt. You know, whether you know it or not, they being hurt, you know. So that's ruining ruining your name and it's also ruining your business. I think they leave a bad taste in anybody's mouth, you know, man, man or woman. They just leave a bad taste, you know. So uh but of course I know a lot of people's talking about free her or not. I mean, I don't know how I really feel about that. Um, but she did have a GoFundMe, but I think, uh, I read, I read another article that it got shut down, you know, or, or been put on freeze until all this, uh, blows over, you know, something like that. I'll have to find that article again. So there was a GoFundMe, but it got shut down, you know? So, uh, 
I don't know who shut it down. Was it GoFundMe or was it people who the naysayers saying, no, don't give her nothing, you know what I'm saying? Because she just the wrong as he is for shooting one. I don't know. They're just throwing something out there. But somehow, they go for me, did get shut down, you know, or we got put on lock, one of the two. Maybe some of y'all who are following the story, you can tell me, you know, what really went down with that. But uh, <clears throat> again, and I want to say this before I get out of here. And I, I really want to say this before I get out of here. This is why I don't condone nobody calling nobody a pedophile and stuff like that because uh, I think that it's disgusting to be labels there or even being accused of touching a child. Because I know on YouTube and on social media, there'd be a lot of beefs going on. It is one of the routes that a lot of people be going there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, calling people pedophiles and stuff like that. That's that's not cool, man. You don't put that on a battle list. You got concrete evidence that somebody has done this, you know? If you got concrete evidence somebody done this, instead of you beefing about it, Maybe you should be calling the police. Maybe you should call the police. If you know for a fact somebody's a pedophile, then instead of you on social media beefing, you need to be calling the police. All right? But that's only if you got the proof that they're a pedophile. All right? But then they do it. But if you just saying they just be throwing stuff out there, you know, I think that's disgusting. That is so disgusting, man. Y'all can roast. But I'm telling the lies on people like that, man, by somebody touching a child, man. That is not cool at all, man, because you got real pedophiles out here. And you got real child molesters out here that's really actually doing this for real. And for you to label somebody like that, that you don't have no concrete evidence that they doing or just to be saying stuff about somebody, that ain't right, bro. I mean, not in my opinion. That's not right. Anyway, I'm your man, Chris Thorns. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this, man. This is, this, this is wild, man. This, this is wild. I mean... If I can say this, I guess a good thing out of it that no child is dead, but still, though, these children got hurt by that shit, you know, so I don't even know you even call that good or not, man, but uh, this is wild, man. This is wild. Hey, man, Chris Thorns, y'all tell me what y'all think, and I'm out. Peace.